Okay, all right, instead of shortening these up, I ground them down the width. So this is my thinnest one. Took about four thou out of this thing, maybe five. Oh, look, it falls right in there now. I guess I need to grind all that extra amount off. Now it's loose. Oh well. Too much. And this one will be loose too. Yep. Damn it. I know how to fix loose. Loctite. I don't want to put it right on that thing. It'll never come apart again in its life. Put a little bit of my green on here. Or blue. I'll use blue. We'll use a little bit of blue Loctite on that. There we go. Some nice blue on that thing. 20 minutes grinding on them. Damn it. Guess I should have stopped at 10 minutes. He drops in there all the way now. See if you rotate the crank forward, the gear will go right on the shaft. As long as you don't back it up, it'll stay that way. Okay. All right. One step closer. Okay, I need a little sleeve piece. Where is my little sleeve piece? At? I got everything out already. Got the nut. Got the gear. What gear we got? We got a. Red one, blue one, purple one. We have an unknown one. Red. It's supposed to be red. Cheap ass gear. All right. So I'm missing a little sleeve piece. We need a sleeve between the two gears. Keep it from being a problem. I had all this stuff out. So what did I do with it? Well, whatever I did with it, it's not right in front of my nose. So I was spending a week looking for it. Let's go grab another one. Got more of them. Somewhere. Somewhere in the archives. Right here where it says cone motor. Here. The bushings and crap. A bunch of sleeves like we need. There we go. So we're going to have extra parts. Either didn't make the list or didn't make the parts pile. Who knows which one it is. And there's a sleeve that we needed. Looks like a little pinky ring. Boom. Right on the shaft like it's supposed to. One step closer. Okay, now this we're getting a little bit of click click going on with it. This is a red. I mean, they need something a little bit bigger than a red. Now, what are we going to do for bigger than red? First off, what is bigger than red? Orange is bigger than red. So that means i got to find me an orange gear. I've got a couple to choose from here. Room to work. You got no room around here. Too much crap. Okay, if we get these out of the way, put these up here. They're out of the way. I 
I said that when I put them over here, though, didn't I? Boy, was I short-sighted. All right, so red is the number four gear. That's fourth bigger. Red, number four. I'm going to move up. I know orange is the biggest. Yellow is number three, it says. Black is number seven or something. What other colors do we got? All right. There's an orange one in there. Orange is number one. And these are the biggest ones. There's two out. Four is red. We already got a red. Two. Two is white. There's a white. Yellow is three. So we're going to try a white gear. Wonderful. Why has it got red all over it? Because it's white, that's why it's got red all over it. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? All right. Appears to be the right one. Maybe. We'll find out. All right. Whoop. Where are we at? Back on the motor. Can't have any dirty parts. Uh, 80 pounds of air doesn't do squat for blowing off parts. Hate restricted airline pressure. All right, this thing's been. I don't know why it's all red. Yeah, we'll find out. There's something wrong with it. Don't know. Would have been marked on the bag if it was bad. The key is in there. The key is in there where it belongs. Nut. Tool. Tool is out. Tool, 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 tool for tightening. Tightening gear nut. Reverse thread. It quits moving, it's tight. Like it's spinning there evenly, it's not doing something like this. That's good. Okay, one can. Okay, we're going to do a different uh, washer. So, this is a 70. Big step up from where we were at. Line up our marks. Where's our mark at? Mark is right there. That one. In your gasket. The one we're going to actually use. They do vary. Okay. We're putting a reed breather in it, so I'm not going to worry about the breather right this minute. Of course, I don't know what the reed went to. Should be around here somewhere. for some reason. Bound up on something. Pop. OK, 
Take a brand new bolt kit. Just a shovel head kit, so it should be the right ones because we're using a shovel head cover. Evo cover has different length screw requirements. So make sure you get the correct ones. There you go. Just did not have the correct Allen washer, so I went and grabbed some. The two short ones go right here. Those three are the same. And the longest one goes up here. Sometimes this one's longer. This one usually here is, is longer. I'm surprised it's not longer. Looks like it'll work. All right. Oops. I'm not watching very much, are we? I guess it helps to watch the camera every now and then. Tight. Tight. Still got in play. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. Got in play. I can slide the cam, so that means the cam gear is not tight either. I'm not getting that clicking noise like I had before either. Check in a different spot. That tight right there. Very, very little clicking noise at all. I think we'll run this one. It's got that one spot where it got tight right here. It's at zero. So it's pretty close. If you get them too tight, they whine. So, and they don't have to be bound up to whine either. I've had them with that clearance, and they whine. So, all right. I think we got the right number there. We have plenty of inflay on the cam, so the 70 uh, number works good. So you can see the clearance in the washer right over here. Looks good. So you push back and forth in these teeth. You get it just in the right spot, you can hear something, but. That ain't it. Not really. So that's gonna be a good one. So we got the white gear. So, but the problem is instead of being an Ultima gear, it's a Jim's gear, so it costs twice as much. So price just went up. Oh well, Ultima only has two gears. I think two colors. They might only have one color. I forget. Anyway, 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. So that all seems to work pretty good. So I can put a seal on this and button this thing up now. So that's a good. I got to clean the goo off the washers, the bolts here, screws. Call these screws, not bolts. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do for. Uh, Uh, what the hell is it? Breather. Where's the breather at? I think it was in the box still. That's what happened to it. I knew I had to read breather out some boys. Okay. So a couple of these screws had junk on the end of them. So let's see which ones they are. This is one of them. It's got goo on it. Goo. Stupid ass container glue. These old packages had glue stuck on them, so when you push them down on them, they would stay put before they put the plastic on. Of course, it sticks on the damn parts now, so. It helped them out, but it slowed me down because I got to clean the crap off. Looks like only that one really had any on it. Yep. All right. Well, this motor is fighting me, but it's going together. Oh, there's another one goop on it. It's here, right there. It's a losing battle for somebody, I'm not sure who. Depends who wins, all right? Okay. Look at that. That's pretty damn good when you pull it off. A tool. All right, so this is ready to go together, I think. Just get off. Okay, that's tight. I can put lubricant on that. Washers are good. Okay. I need a reed. Where's our reed at? Oh, there it is. There's our lifters too. I knew we were going to need some of these parts at some point. Okay, reed. Reeds are for 93 nut motors. It's a good thing this is a 93 nut motor. Because this is 2018. So yes, it's past 93. So it'll work. I've used them on everything from... 99 motors all the way back to... Knuckle head motors. They still work. I've only had two complaints about using them. Everybody else was happy. Alright, don't lose that spring. Important. Read simple. When you have a vacuum or no pressure, it closes. When you have pressure, Coming through the crankcase, it opens. It is timed 100% perfectly. So why would you not put in everything? I don't know. I do. This nest has a theory, I guess. The spring goes right in here. It keeps it from vibrating. If your hole is bad in your case, this doesn't care because it doesn't rotate. It just goes in there like that. Boom, done. Spring goes on it, puts pressure on it, you're done. Nothing rotates, nothing times. Works perfect. I like them. Okay, put a little bit of oil in here. That's where it belongs, it'd be nice. Okay. So I usually just put a little bit of oil on the top of the lobe. 
base circle doesn't matter. It's only it's the load part that matters. That would be the part that opens. And for the gear, I just go like this. Well, I did not lubricate those oil pump gears. I need to do that. Do not put your motor together dry with oil pump gears dry. And they're dry right now. Don't be a dumbass and do that stunt. I almost did that, didn't I? Be afraid to put some oil on that gear either. It's under a lot of load in there. Make sure you got oil on it. it. Takes two revolutions to go all the way through, so give it a couple. All right. Get the cam here. Okay, where's our mark at? Uh, mark is right there. Mark on you and way over here. They meet in the middle. There you go. Very important the marks line up. I don't give a squat about what the ignition mark over there is. I'm working on the cam. Some people like to go there for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, mark on pinion shaft. Mark on cam. This mark is for the breather, which it doesn't rotate, so it doesn't matter anymore. Make sure those two line up. Those are important. It also has to restrict in the crank. Make sure that's in there. Okay, so now I gotta go put the seal on the cam cover. And I can bolt that thing down. The seal is buried over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, this is a single lip seal. It does not have a double lip on this side, so it's a cheapy one. It does have the spring on it though, which most all of them do. Okay, so this presses in. This has no sealer on the outside, see it's raw metal. They make these in rubber, they make them in steel. They all leak, they all work. We just don't know which one it's gonna be. Okay, that pushes right under there. And ideally you wanna go slightly below the surface, but usually they won't do that. So I use my press for that. Go over here and find something to press with. Pressing situation over here. Okay, so we want something that's pushing flat. Okay. Okay, that'll work for both situations, kind of. The other one is this one here. Too small. All right, we'll use this one. Go over here. Get the motor done yesterday because I was supposed to. I'm supposed to have the motor go home tonight sometime before tomorrow. Today is now tomorrow. It's one o'clock. We're gonna work until we get this thing going. At least this part. Okay, there's flush. Flip it over. Then we go below flush a little bit. A little below flush. About 50 thou below flush. That's where it should sit. Okay. Right, cam cover is ready to go on. Drop that off in the hole. Okay, back over here in the motor. Okay. Seal is in there. Make sure you lubricate these bushings before you assemble it. It's kind of important. We have oil on everything. Make 
sure you get the seal lubricated too. 